Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials with a new uh, tutorial today on how to model a Easter Island statue. Okay, uh, this is a subscriber request. It's uh, pretty close towards character modeling, which is not really what I usually do, but uh, I'll give it my best and hopefully this will be to your satisfaction. All right. Okay, we're going to start off by loading a reference image. So we're going to go to our panel view, select our front view, go to view, image plane, import image. And I found this image right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to start off with. Now, uh, as usual, we're not going to follow this uh, exactly. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, rotate this guy a little bit to kind of straighten them out. And we'll start off with our basic shape. Okay, we're going to create a polygon cylinder. We're going to drag that out and pull that up until we roughly have the same height proportions. So I'm just going to hit my uh, X-ray box here, pull that down. So if this is roughly the height, we'll just uh, scale it in a bit. that a bit more so yeah that's basically the right shape okay then we are going to actually stay in this view here we're going to go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool option box make sure you got equal distance we're going to zoom in we're going to add an edge loop up here we'll do one down here for the nose we'll do one, two, three for the upper lip, and one, two, two, three for the lower. And we'll space them correctly in a bit. Okay. Um, actually, we'll go into this view here. We're going to right click at a face, and we're going to select these faces. And leave that one and that one alone. All right. We're going to go to this view, edit mesh, extrude, hit W and pull that out. That's pretty much it. Let's see, maybe a bit too much. We'll just push back a little. Okay. Next, we're going to create the nose. So for that, we're going to go to this view again. Okay. And we will take these two like so and what we'll do there is go to edit mesh uh, sorry no right click go to edge we're going to select just that edge right there and go to edit mesh and bevel okay then we're going to right click go to face we're going to select these four faces Switch to our perspective view. Go to edit mesh and extrude. Hit W. Start to pull that out. Not too much. We just want to have a bit difference up here. That's about right. Okay. Then we're going to right click, go to vertex. We're going to select these vertices and we're going to start to pull them out and as you can see the nose is quite large so give that a bit more and we are going to flare it out a little bit so we're going to hit R on our keyboard and let's stretch them out a bit not too much that's that's okay all right now we're going to focus on the lips and there is a little bit of distance as you can see here and the edges of the lips are coming together. So for that we need to straight out the edge distances. If that's proper English, I'm not sure. So we're going to take that guy, 
bring that up take that one bring it down bring that one up to about here that one to there that looks about even okay and then the lips are sticking out left and right from the nose but not too much so if this is our nose here we're gonna start with these faces so and we'll zoom in so you can see it a bit better looks like we got let's see one two one two let's go to these we'll do the same down here Okay, there we go. Switch our perspective view. We're going to hit W. And we're going to start to pull that out just a little. And then edit mesh extrude. Hit W and pull that out a bit more. That looks about right. And then we're going to grab the vertices and we're going to bring them together. Okay. So right click vertex, select these and these, and make sure you have nothing selected in the back here. Let me turn that okay. Cool. And we're going to hit R on our keyboard and we're going to push these together. Still looks like I got a little bit more than what I was looking for. Let's try that again. I think I got a little bit too much selected, guys. Just hang on for one sec here. That kind of looks clean, so that should be okay. Okay. And we are going to smooth this out, so that's going to be fine. So we'll bring that in. That's actually not bad at all, because that will be rounded. Just check our reference. OK, cool. Now, I don't have the absolute best reference for the ears here, but we will create. And that starts from the lower section of the eyebrow to about where the lips are. So that would be, uh, let's see, this guy, these right here, to move this one over okay edit mesh extrude hit R hang on let's try that again okay now let's deal with the jaw shape all right, as you can see, it's a bit uh, rounded. So we're going to start by switching views uh, from our sign view here. Right click vertex, drag select those, hit E, rotate that a little, hit R to scale it out just a bit, and W to move that in so the back half is fairly straight which gives us that. We are going to deal with the nostrils. Right click face, select these two. Edit mesh, extrude, hit R, scale them in, and then push them back out like that. And hit G to repeat, and W to push in like so. We are going to add some subdivision to make sure that when we smooth this, it stays in shape. So edit mesh 
insert edge loop tool option box looks good okay we're gonna add one down here to hold that shape for the jaw the lips I think are okay we'll put one on the nose to keep that in shape hit Q on our keyboard okay and let's shape the ears a little bit more edit mesh insert edge loop option box multiple we'll do four and we're going to add them right there hit Q on your keyboard we're going to right click go to vertex select those four okay there we go we're going to W we're going to push them back a little then we're going to take these two and these two push them back a bit more and then hit R and kind of stretch them out a bit to give it a bit more shape all right now it looks like the bottom section here is a bit long so right click vertex drag click all of that hit w and bring that back up a little bit okay not too bad now let's uh, create the uh, the, the bottom or the the chest part if you will we'll create a polygon cube gonna pull that up edit mesh insert edge loop tool which is still set on four there we go and hit Q on your keyboard we're gonna go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool again option box go back to our normal setting and hit one right there and then right click face select the top faces edit mesh extrude hit W to pull up and R to scale in and then take these hit W and pull that up hit R and push that in take these three hit W pull that up and let's see well yeah it's not too bad okay right click object mode let's position that correctly so go to our top view we're gonna move that in and under let's just check to see if this is we'll set that to zero and we'll do that the same with this guy there we go so that should look okay now we'll take a reference image and push that back we'll take the body and push that down and looks like from a proportion point of view we need to scale that somewhat so we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale that in hit W push that back a little that's not bad okay and now let's select that get rid of it select this mesh combine and let's try to see what happens when we smooth this hit three on your keyboard okay now top part is not bad uh, bottom part is a bit round so we're just gonna select the guy again hit one on our keyboard 
and add some edge loops to keep the shape intact. Okay. So edit mesh insert edge loop tool. We'll add one back here. Add one down here. One right there. That should hold the form a little bit better. Right click object mode, select the whole thing. Let's see what we got. Oops. Let's try that again. Yeah, object mode. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, as we've seen in the example, it's a bit tilted. So we'll do the same and it's slightly forward. Let's create a, um, a ground plane. All right, take our guy, pull him up until we got this situation here. Let's go to render settings. We're gonna go to mental ray Indirect lighting. Let's create um, physical sun and sky. Set global illumination. Quality tab to about 1.5. Common tab. Let's do HD 1080. We're going to hit 7 on our keyboard to get a sense of what our light is doing. Let's set up our resolution gate. And let's give this a try, okay? Hit render. I'll just uh, pause that so you guys don't have to wait for that. Well, there you have it. This is uh, my version of the uh, Easter egg statue. Um, if you got any questions, let me know. As always, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.